Hello. Today we are going to discuss the synthesis of acetazolamide. So basically acetazolamide is uh, from the diuretics, specifically carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, but its use is somewhat uh, limited due to the systemic acidosis. Okay, so let's see how the acetazolamide will get synthesized. So this is the starting material or you can say the reactant. So we can call it as a hydrazine derivative because it is this one comes from it looks like a hydrazine NH2 NH2. So the starting material is a hydrazine derivative. And again, if you observe, so this S double uh, double bond S and NH2 same here also double bond S NH2 that is also same. So that's why we are calling it as a hydrazine derivative. OK, so this reactant when treated with the phosgene, okay, this is the structure of phosgene. So we are getting 1,3,4-thiadiazole, which is the main heterocycle. Now it is expected that this NH2 or this amino will get acylated uh, by action with this phosgene. So what will happen once this attack or this reaction will occur? So here on the one arm, we will get NH C double bond O Cl, right? So once we get this one so this there will be the intramolecular attack and this sulfur will again uh, you can say uh, there will be the intramolecular attack between this sulfur and this acylated moiety this will be acting as a good living group so ultimately if we compare this one so this nn will remain same then that double bond s that will become sh nh2 will be same and from here there is a cyclic system formation so that nh2 will get uh, eliminated so this hydrazine derivative on reaction with the phosgene, we are getting the main heterocycle or the pharmacophore that is 1,3,4-thiadiazole. Now, once we are getting this, that will undergo acetylation. So acetylation means there is an addition of this acetyl moiety. So that will take place here. So we are getting this next acylated product from this 1,3-thiadiazole. Now this acylated product is followed by oxidation in presence of the aqueous chlorine. Now what happened, uh, whatever SH is present, so there is the oxidation, so oxygen will be there and in presence of Cl2, so that will be our Cl. So this thionyl chloride or that sulfonyl chloride uh, will get added over to this or that will get replaced with the SH, right? And then at last, when this moiety uh, will be treated with the ammonia. So simply there is a substitution of this chlorine with the NH2. So uh, sulfonyl chloride is converted into sulfonamide and rest of the things will be same. So in this way, the acetazolamide will get synthesized. The hydrazine derivative treated with the phosgene. So we will get the main scaffold that is 1,3,4-thiadiazole, which on acylation will get acylated on the amino uh, substituent. Now, once this acylated moiety we are getting, that will undergo oxidation in presence of chlorine. So there is a formation of sulfonyl chloride derivative. This sulfonyl chloride derivative acted upon by ammonia and we are getting the sulfonamide. So that is nothing but that makes the structure of aceta, this amide, this, and this is the main scaffold. So that makes the structure of acetazolamide. Thank you.